Okay, so here we are outside again. And this time we're going to look at a new mower called, Ur well, the brand name. Is it Urbauer? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm afraid. My does the does hubby. <laughs> but here it is. It's um, lead free, so it works on a battery. As you can see, two batteries. Apparently, keep cool technology. And that's how much it can do. I'm guessing on one or on is it on the both batteries mm -hmm. isn't it because it comes with two quite interesting really isn't it mm. so we pick this up from being Q we usually use a petrol mower but we're finding that it's actually starting to rip up the grass and here is our lawn we've had it relayed because we did have a circular patch here that was filled up with weeds. Looked atrocious. We had a um, swimming pool, didn't we? A metal swimming pool that just sat on, on the top. So we've got rid of all that now. So we finally had the, we the weeds. Well, it was rather a weedy garden, wasn't it? Because um, we're backed by lots of trees, so we get lots of stuff and rubbish flying over and of course it affects the grass so we're going to have to keep up maintenance of this lawn darling mm -hmm. darling dear <laughs> weed and feed hopefully so yes new lawn new mower got it from b and q i believe i said earlier so this is the charging device which husband's put round the wrong way there we go and those are the batteries. So you get two, and apparently you have to use both of them, don't you? Yes. Both to make the mower actually work. So, when you want to charge, you just bung it on. Oh, you've got a light. Oh, that's cool. It tells you how how charged the batteries are. You need your slot. Slot in like that. Slot out like that. Cool. Now for the actual mower, which is here. Now, Hubby's already put this together. What did we have to add to it? It's just the handlebar, just the wasn't handlebar. it? Just the handlebar. Literally the handle. Everything else is done. Which obviously makes sense to be able to get it in the box. What are you going to do? Bang them. Will that not stay up, that no. lid? No, that's great. Just put that one down. Okay, look in the batteries. Put that one down and then you oh. put the safety key. Safety key must go in as well. In all the way. Like that. We haven't actually that. used this yet, despite it all being put together. This is going to be a first use. And then this. So the handle folds down nicely. Up. So what part of the handle did we actually have to put? Just, this, yeah. Just the bar. Yeah. And then that. And yeah. weren't these, didn't we have to put these on? Yeah, this, is, this is, is it meant to be this? Ow, ow, so, ow. Pinch my Sorry. finger, my gosh. Sorry. Gosh. That holds it firm in place. So yeah, you've got these hooks that you just attach. If you're wondering what they're for, they're actually to keep the wire nice and tight to the bar. And you also have to put these red handles on as well. And Hubby did put this side on upside down at first. As you can see, the U shape is to the bar. It gives it a cutch, as as Welsh say. And in here. Ah, uh, yes, in a here. Block to allow the grass to mulch, just mulch, and stay on the ground, or you can attach. What do you actually call that? Is there actual collection. name the collection box? Is it? Yeah, that's cool. It's got two. So you've got two choices. We tend to use the box, um, you can do that. but if your grass is really low and not a lot to it mulching with that thing is the way to go but you do have to remember to remove that mulch thing before you put this in or before you use this part you're going to give it a mulch yes yeah i only want to do a very light cut on it because it's new okay this is noisy so you press the button press the button Ooh. off you go oh, look actually it's not as noisy as i expected 
be cutting. Is that actually cutting? Yeah, how many levels has this thing got? Do you know? Six. Six. Okay, six levels. So it must have been on its highest. Was it on its highest? Yeah. Try it again. No? <laughs> Lower again. We'll get it. <laughs> That's working. It's actually not as loud as our petrol lower. mulching aspect is actually quite a good um, addition because if you're not really taking an awful lot off the top of the grass you can just leave it sit on the grass after it's cut it but I guess you have to keep up with mowing your lawn obviously to be able to do or be able to get away with just doing that usually we're not so good <laughs> a nice day today. Look at a blue sky. It is August, you'd expect it to be, especially here in the UK, but I don't know, this year we've had quite a lot of rain in August. But that is super, super quiet, or quieter than what I'm used to with the petrol mower. If it's lighter to push, it looks like it is. Is it lighter to push, Chris? Yeah. yeah. So you literally press the button and hold the handle, and then off you go. So it's 46 centimetres I think I just caught on the base of that. Yeah, 46 centimetres. Sorry if I'm being a bit crazy with the camera. I'm actually watching live and watching through the camera at the same time, or at least trying to. <laughs> Doing a pretty good job. The grass is a bit wet though, you can see that on the wheels. Probably have to dry that off before putting it back in the garage. Yeah, this time we wanted something a bit lighter and, well, a little less <clears throat> smelly in regards to the fuel. Because I last one took petrol. And if you run out of the stuff, then you've got no mower. So we decided that we'd have a change this time round. We wanted to stick with the lead free approach. Cutting the lawn without leads is fantastic, I have to say. And after doing some research, about the different mowers we decided on this one I'm sure we saw this under a different name elsewhere so I got a funny feeling that depending on where you get it from it's the same thing but just a different we've just put a different name to it probably connected with where you buy it from I guess 
but yeah, cordless, a good quality 36 built batteries. Ah, there's the 46 centimeters because I saw that written on the um, on the mower itself, wondering what it meant. So obviously that's the uh, width of it. Power mulching and um, folding the handle down put it, to put it to storage. And then there's the mulching, there's the batteries, and then the mower itself. So like I say, all you have to do is just put the handle on. Put the handle on and fix, fix these on as well. There's where we haven't done yet, and there is where we have. Looks good. It's cutting and cutting, which is the main thing, it's cutting. We've even got some stripes. Wow. He's got his own way of cutting and you know where to start, where to finish and all that sort of stuff. So, but he's doing well, isn't he? He's doing well. He's keeping fairly straight. <laughs> Look at him go! Go, go, go! well I mean you can actually see can't you can you see and what do you think personal opinion how does it compare to the petrol mower easier Lighter. Easier, lighter, yeah. speak up to you. <laughs> yeah, happy. Yeah. Happy days. You're happy with your choice? Yep. Because there's quite a bit of choice out there. You can get the streamer and everything to go with it and you can use the same oh, ah, Yes, I haven't said about that. The batteries, yeah, they can um, be used on other, on other same branded products. So if you've got the streamer in this brand, the batteries are going to work on it, which is fantastic. Totally forgot about that. Just as well he mentioned it. Oh, yeah. There we go. One happy husband with his mower. A man and his mow. His mow mow. <laughs> <laughs> 